What's up YouTube, it's Yemi here again from Swing Trade FX and in this video I'm going to be talking about something most people don't like to talk about and which is I'm going to be reviewing my losses with you. So I made a loss earlier this week which is recovered right now by the way but I want to talk about the loss and I see that most people don't like to talk about their losses perhaps from a place of ego right but i solely believe that if you're a profitable trader you should be comfortable talking about your losses right because it's part of the game if not if you're not showing up transparency you're just going to be creating you know traders who do not believe that losses is part of the game and ends you that's why you find traders when after a, a loss they are jumping from a strategy to another strategy so most people create this anomaly around trading and you know present it to them as though you don't have to make a loss right and if you're locked in with swing trade effects you're always going to see me talk about it right because it's part of the game in an uncertain environment there's an equal distribution between wins and losses right your overall performance is actually graded over your series of trades right over time so you don't determine a winning or or, or, or a winning strategy by just one trade or within a week right you need to give it some times to kind of accumulate those data to see you know how well it works right so in today's video i'm going to be talking about my loss and i want you to sit back and relax and you know what it is let's go All right, so welcome back real quick. I'm going to be talking about uh, the fast bull market. Uh, you know, uh, for people who are joining this channel for the first time, you know, I recommend the fast bull market uh, because of the beautiful charting system, which has just been incorporated just right now. And um, you have this whole multi charting system where, you know, you can check on multiple charts at the same time. Okay, so if you're looking forward to finding a charter system which uh, are not going to be bugging you out with ads and you know subscription and all of that right you can use the fast book market and in addition to that you can just get all your news 247 news you know about how the uh what's going on in the market what's driving the market right i don't use the news but if you feel the need to use news as your additional confirmation i think uh, you should use this and the economic calendar as well so i uh, it's quite a system that everything is built into one so the beautiful new feature here is actually the chatting room right so you're going to find the chatting room right here and when you get into the chatting room you're going to see on um, different rooms where you can join and just send your ideas and interact with all that traders all around the world right and uh i know that my um followers and subscribers are caught across different range of languages so you need not to worry because there are different la languages you have the espanol you have the different languages literally that you can actually experience the charting in which can be transcribed excellently for you so that being said let's get to my loss and yes i'm going to be talking about this loss and what i learned about it first of all let me talk about the setup okay so my setup is you know beautifully done right that means the first thing i want you to learn here is you can have your setup really being done and you're still going to end up losing the trade right and this is the these are days where risk management is going to help you okay so if your risk management is consistent and you've been having like wins over time you're not going to lose sleep about it so let's see what so i got about the setup because um, when you look at the market from a daily time frame right the market was sitting at the previous era resistance tone support you know that area also uh is a very strong you know support area on the daily time frame. as you can see we have the support right here we have the you know this area of rejection and resistance so i was overall looking at the market rejecting this level and at least giving us some kind of pullback and i want to take advantage of that uh pullback in the market okay so um coming to the four hours then the one hour when i made my decision uh why did i make my decision it was very simple right you know i saw that the market started to move after the market broke and retest and respected this trend line it started to move on lower low lower high 
lua lu lua hai lua lu lua ai lua lu lua ai then you know the market broke you know i'm always entering by break of structure confirmation and when the market pulled back i initially going to a trade here i closed in you know just small profit and now the market made a move to this level so when the market make the move to this level i kind of identify a potential opportunity for myself and what was the potential opportunity for me um i brought out my counter trend line right at this level right and you know i got into the trade when the moment the market broke into this level right and the market broke you know a little bit of smaller structures right here which is obvious on the lower time frame so i got into that and we had a good ride we had about one ratio one point something before the market went against us right so why did the market go against me right so in hindsight when i was reviewing the trade first of all i projected the market to break above this level give me some kind of like uh consolidation you know here uh let me break it out again give me some kind of consolidation here and after this consolidation i expect the market to pull to the next resistance right and i was looking at the almost a one ratio five about one ratio 4.6 trade on this uh, risk reward right so uh when the market got here i saw this consolidation forming up and you know because i was expecting a consolidation there for the market to break out i didn't close the trade and i had no reason actually to break even as you all know go watch my trade management videos uh it's gonna be in the uh card above um i spoke about how i manage my trade you know i don't have any obvious law i have to move my stop loss too so there was no need for me to you know i love to stick by the rule and i you know maintain my discipline 100 percent so the market moved against me and why the market was moving there's nothing uh, i'm gonna do i've actually set my risk and accepted my risk and you know that was it so what did i truly learn here so after the trade eat out i went out to the four hours time frame and i realized that what the market did was rejected my key level which is the previous area of support and the trend line making this level a very strong resistance right so perhaps if i had you know um seen it within that light and not just anticipated a consolidation here with the market did the consolidation right uh, i was looking at the market through the framework of consolidation and break however i should have looked at the market more through through the lens of this is a potential very strong area and you know whatever happens right here perhaps maybe i should take out my profit and wait for the market perhaps to break or just break even and move it to my entry point which is not usually my cup of tea because i have to see an obvious you know low before i break even right so i should have waited for the market to break above this level perhaps when it pulls back right here then i might just enter right here so if i had done that my actual setup on this trade should have been something like this and targeted this level and i would have even gotten more right if i had done that right so one thing i learned about the market about those laws has less to do with technical because my technical was actually very good um my major learning point here was more psychological okay and what was psychological about the market you see there's a, a framework of objectivity and there's a framework of sentiment right when you get in the market right so however because i was expecting a consolidation around this very strong zone as you can see on the on, on the chart that really clouded my this, my objectivity right to see that the market is actually still below the downward trail line and anything can literally happen at that point in time so usually those should be my actually key level for me to watch out not a level i'm looking to break out right so if i'd been a bit more psychologically you know objective right uh, this trade i could have avoided uh, this loss right so this is to point out that listen it doesn't matter how good you are right this game is psychology right you need to always be objective at, at all times right so i saw my need for ob more objectivity right and you know especially when you've been having you know a good run winning on winning and winning back to back right there's this you know chance of you just being 
non challenge as much and not putting you know attention into details to see what really is that's the first thing i learned and the second thing um that got reinforced right is that you know just keep your risk consistent because even after the slots i'm still up right overall for the month you know and you know i've taken a couple trades after now like two trades right now the first trade i eat tp one ratio two the second one i'm targeting like one ratio five which i'm still currently on right now so the beautiful thing about it is do not get attached to a loss do not get attached to it right do not get attached to your trade right just do what you need to do by the reasons of your strategy right and let it play out if it doesn't play out okay good but if you play out some other time you're going to make it back right i've made back the losses right now and i'm currently you know floating in profit for the week if i close right now it's going to be a profitable week for me and a good way to start the month right so the what i just want you to learn from this is please and please anytime you're trading the market please be always objective there's this tendency of wanting to be non challenged you know it's just our nature as as humans right but the market hates that nature right so everything has to be put in details right a little bit of patience for the market to break that level retest could have actually saved me a lot of you know uh, money being lost on this right um, within the confines of my risk okay so this is one thing that i need you to learn and second thing i need you to learn is that see there are losses that are inevitable no matter how 100% and amazing your setup is there are some losses that are unavoidable right and you know to add to that this was also a level of resistance you can see the previous resistance right so the point is this right always look at your market even when your setup seems perfect that's the level that's the point where you need to be very very objective because when it's too when it when it looks too good you gotta be careful that's one i have learned in trading when it looks too good you gotta be careful because the market is so tricky so i want you to take this into your own trading if there's anything you need to learn in today's video is more psychological be objective at all times pay attention to all details okay and keep your risk very 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 consistent and constant right and don't get self-attached to or emotionally attached to any of your positions why because positions will always come and go you're always going to find big win day you're always going to find losing day but please don't lose beyond your risk threshold because the moment you start to lose exponentially because of the reasons of poor risk management you tend to want a revenge and when you enter the market through the lens of revenge it's going to take you off that rational mind frame and once it takes you off that rational mind frame trust me there's nothing you want to do in the market that will make any sense right you are not going to close your trade when you need to close it you're going to find yourself wanting more and more and you're going to be trading against all the principles that you know trading works on right so i hope this has helped you guys so much you know you're gonna find me posting and share my you know experiences in the market for your learning okay so in today's experience it might not be the very great right but hey to me it doesn't really matter win or losses the trade is a good trade or a bad trade not because of its outcome but if i follow my deal process and I know I did it the way I needed to do it. To me, that is a good and bad trade. So don't judge the outcome of your trade and use it to define if your trade is a good or bad trade, okay? One, what makes a trade good or bad is you following the process, following everything that needs to follow it, right? Because once you do it that way, then when the outcome of the trade presents itself, either as a loss, you are gonna be learning something. As a win, you are still gonna be learning something, right? So I'm not just losing, for the sake of losing i'm losing to learn okay that okay i got it more objective especially when i'm having a win a winning streak so this is how to think like a trader and i hope this has helped you guys so much if this channel has really helped you you can like share subscribe and you know just turn on your notification because you're going to be seeing me on youtube a lot so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video god bless you